Season will end at 10 and 4. And here's Lisa Salters with the victorious head coach. Thanks, Mike. Coach, 70 points you put up on the board, a bowl record. How did you make it look so easy? Were you going for the record? No. There's nothing easy about that now. Clemson's a great team. They've had an unbelievable year. You know, our guys just came in, and I think we're playing a little bit better when our backs are against the wall. Not too many people gave us credit, and uh, the guys wanted to come in and kind of make a statement, which and, and the only way you can do that is if you play on all three sides of the ball. How could you tell that your tempo was uh, was hurting them? Well, it, it's been an emphasis for us. You know, we've had a hard time all year getting the tempo going. And it's dangerous to get it. it, it it's, it's dangerous to tempo if you're not being very good with it. And uh, we just kind of emphasized it here over the course of the last 15 practices and got better at it. What impact did that fumble recovery return for a touchdown have on the game? Yeah, that that that, uh, that amplified what we've been telling them for the last two months, which is regardless of what happens, just keep playing. And defense gave up a long drive, but they just keep playing. And they ended up getting a turnover on the goal line, which turned the game. And the guys are still trying to figure out that one play that was so successful for multiple touchdowns. It's recorded as a pass, but it kind of looks as a, a volleyball kind of tap toss. What What is that? Well, it, my good friend Bob Stead at Colorado School of the Mines gave me that, which basically it's, it's uh, you know, we toss it to them, and if we drop it, it's an incomplete pass. So it's actually a safe play. What message do you want to send with this one tonight? 70 points again, Coach. Well, just, you know, the seniors have done such a good job all year long. They, they were put in a bad situation. They've been through a lot in their career at West Virginia. And, uh, you know, they, they just wanted to lay the groundwork for where we're headed as a football program. And, you know, I, I, I can't imagine it being any brighter than it is right now. I think the future is pretty bright at West Virginia. Thank you, and congratulations to you, Coach. Thank you. Mike? All right, all you coaches, we clinic out at the Colorado School of Mines. <laughs> it's a great-looking play. A little bit 